That breaking news, two children are among the latest victims of violence in the nation's capital tonight. A nine-year-old and a 12-year-old are being treated for gunshot wounds after a mass shooting. The flashing lights, the crime scene tape, it is an all-too-common sight on a warm summer spring evening in the district. Thanks for joining us, everybody. I'm Sean Yancey. And I'm Leon Harris. Jim is off tonight. One adult died in this shooting. In all, six people were hit by bullets, making this the fourth mass shooting in D.C. this year. The victims were all outside the Fairway Park apartments when someone opened fire. This neighborhood near 21st Street and Maryland Avenue in Northeast D.C. News 4's Jackie Benson spent the evening speaking with neighbors and detectives. She told us D.C. police are chasing down a critical clue right now. This was an absolutely chaotic scene. A warm night. There were children out on the sidewalk playing. When a vehicle pulled up, two men got out and started shooting at a group of people. And a nine-year-old shot in the foot. The shooting happened just after 6 p.m. in the 1100 block of 21st Street Northeast. The victims who could run, including a nine-year-old boy and a 12-year-old boy, ran for their lives into nearby apartments. Ambulance crews kept locating more victims. There's five patients total, one PDOA. D.C. Police Chief Pamela Smith. Shortly after this shooting occurred, a 12-year-old boy arrived at a local hospital with a gunshot wound. Our preliminary investigation indicates the suspects exited a vehicle and began shooting at people that were outside here in the neighborhood. These are images of the suspect's vehicle released by D.C. police. It's a blue or light gray sedan with dark tinted windows, no tags in front, a white paper tag in the back, and a spare tire, often called a donut, on the front passenger side. There are a number of cameras on the buildings here, and the police chief says she hopes that they will be able to provide good information for the new real-time crime information center. In Northeast Washington, Jackie Benson, News 4. And we have more details on the data that Jackie mentioned that our News 4 I team gathered. Uh, the number of children hurt in shootings in the district is down compared to the same time last year. Two children, 11 years old and under, have been shot this year compared to five this time last year. 17 children ages 12 to 17 have been shot in D.C. this year compared to 27 this same time last year. Now we're staying in touch with D.C. police as they search for that car. Wake up with us for the very latest updates first thing in the morning. News for today starts at 4 a.m.